Remember that time Joe Biden knew that the FBI was unfairly targeting General Michael Flynn? Remember when FBI notes revealed it was Joe Biden himself who suggested using the Logan Act to target General Flynn during that January 5th Oval Office meeting? Remember that time Joe Biden lied about it to George Stephanopoulos, claiming he knew nothing about it? Take a look. I do want to ask you about Michael Flynn, the former national security advisor to President Trump, and the move by the Justice Department last week to dismiss the case against him for lying to the FBI. The president said yesterday that that move is justified because President Obama targeted Flynn. He called it, quote, the biggest political crime in U.S. history. Your former Senate colleague, Charles Grassley, has added that Flynn was entrapped and asked on the Senate floor, what did Obama and Biden know? When did they know it? So what did you know about those moves to investigate uh, Michael Flynn? And was there anything improper done? I know nothing about those moves to investigate Michael Flynn, number one. Number two, this is all about diversion. The truth is, the FBI and the Department of Justice under President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden knew they were abusing their power. They abused the power of the government and knowingly lied on FISA court warrant applications to target Trump campaign officials like Carter Page. The FBI willfully neglected to include in their FISA court warrant applications that the Hillary Clinton campaign had paid for the Christopher Steele dossier that contained the baseless allegations of Trump-Russia collusion. An FBI lawyer then altered an email to make it sound like Carter Page was a Russian spy himself, when in truth, Carter Page had helped the intelligence community take down Russian spies in the past. The Obama-Biden FBI knew this, and yet they lied about it anyway. The Obama-Biden FBI knew the Christopher Steele dossier was garbage. And so they tricked the mainstream media into reporting on it as if it were true. The Obama-Biden intelligence community included reports about the dossier in President-elect Trump's intelligence briefing so that they could leak that to CNN so CNN would report on the dossier as if the intelligence community believed it to be true, even though the intelligence community knew it was garbage. Once the Obama-Biden intelligence community had planted that false story of Trump-Russia collusion, they came after General Michael Flynn. Why? Well, Flynn was the incoming national security advisor. In that role, Flynn would see the wrongdoing, the corruption, the criminal, illegal behavior of the FBI, who spied on Carter Page based on fake opposition research paid for by Hillary Clinton and sourced from former Russian intelligence services in their admitted effort to try to take President Trump down. So Joe Biden, in an Oval Office meeting with Barack Obama and James Comey and Susan Rice, suggested that they target General Michael Flynn with the Logan Act an antiquated law of dubious constitutionality that was passed before we had telephones. And that's an important point. The Logan Act makes it illegal for any private American citizen to pretend to negotiate with a foreign country on behalf of the United States. This law was passed before phones so that other nations couldn't confirm whether the American was a legitimate representative of the U.S. or not. Nobody since then has ever been successfully prosecuted under the Logan Act. But during the transition period, after President Trump was elected and before he officially took office, after General Flynn spoke on the phone with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, the Obama-Biden administration pretended that these phone calls were nefarious and violated the Logan Act, when in fact, transcripts show that Flynn merely talked to Kislyak about the expulsion of some diplomats and our shared goals of fighting the war on terror in the Middle East. And even though Joe Biden lied to George Stephanopoulos, he lied to you and he lied to me, Joe Biden knew about the FBI's entrapment of General Michael Flynn and he was part of it. And yet, nobody on the left, nobody in the mainstream media will hold him accountable. Which makes you wonder, in a Biden administration, would this type of abuse of power against political opponents happen again?